Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. When I first started to make cards, I used to add the verse inside it. But now I don't do that. I just make the card fronts and instead of adding the insert, I now finish the back off with a stand. And there are several different ways that you can do this. And that is what I would like to share with you today. So the simplest way to make the frame for the back is to take a piece of card that matches the card front and for this one I've embossed it and all I've done is fold it in half and then with the piece that's left, this is about uh, 4 inches long, about 10 centimetres, I've folded it in half and I've taken a small piece of each side back. And all I'm going to do is add glue to these two flaps and pop it inside the card. So I'm using a wet glue and that's just going to sit inside the card and press it down. And then once that's dry, that will give you the frame like this that will hold your card standing. So once you've done that, flip the good side of your card over and you're just going to add glue around the frame and add it to the back of your card slightly up from the base and just press it into place and that then will allow your card to stand. So that's your simple A-frame. Now the next style you can make is this style and this is using the spellbinders. So you need to make sure that your spellbinder will fit the back of your card and it doesn't matter what size you do as long as the, the spellbinder fits the shape. And then you need to lay that with the cutting side down and you need a smaller one to fit inside but before you fit that in place you're going to need some card and there's two there's three layers of card there and they're going to sit across the first die then if you place your second die onto the card and run that through your die cutting machine you will be left with an easel shape so once you've run that through your die cutting machine, this is what you will have. So you're going to take these dies off. And this will come away in two little bits. Take the last part off. And now if you fold up the two outer edges, you will be left with a little frame that you can now fit to the back of your card. So what you're going to do is add the glue along the top edge and along that panel at the back. Make sure that your card is the right way around and add it to the back. Make it in the centre and a little bit up from the base and press it into place in the, the bits where you've glued it. And now that also creates a stand for your cards. And the beauty of that is it will fold flat to pop it into an envelope. A third way you can make the stands is if you don't have the spell binders. But what you're going to do is take a piece of card that fits the back of your, um, your base card and you're going to just make it nice and equal all around. You're just going to measure that distance. It doesn't really matter what distance you make it. But then you're going to cut along three sides. And that will give you that shape. So once you've cut the card, you can just rub off any pencil marks that you have on it. 
and again once you fold that inner the outer edge inwards you now have your frame ready to put on your car so you're going to glue the top edge along there you're going to glue the panel for the back of the card and all you're going to do is pop that into place make sure your card is the right way around pop that into place in the middle and just slightly up from the bottom press it in place and again there's your A-frame for your card now another thing you can do is create stands from dies and these are from Joy Crafts and this is how they come and these are the three patterns that you can get but because they're die cuts they'll only cut to the depth of the the cutting ridge that's on the actual die and sometimes the card that you cut is too flimsy to hold your base card up so what I do is I cut two pieces I add glue to the outer edges and marry them up press them into place and then leave that to set and that will then give me a nice rigid frame to stand my card on now once you've made your frames it still has a little bit of a drawback because it will not hold bigger cards this is just an A5 card and the frame will not hold them in portrait position they'll just fall over it will hold them in landscape but the best thing to do is make your cards a little bit smaller so that they will fit onto the frames and look pretty now once you've made the stands you can use them as they are and stand your cards on it or the other alternative is to score down each side and glue them to the back and use them just as an A-frame. The choice is yours. You can make them out of different colours, gold and silver, make lots of them so that you've always got some stands ready to be used on your cards. So there's all the different ways you can make stands for your cards. You have A-frames here, A-frames that you've embossed, you have frames that you've created from your spellbinders, you have free hand-cutted frames, you've got the little stands that you can stand the card in, or you can add it to the back of your card and use it as another way to stand the card. And every one of them will fold flat, ready for you to add them to your envelope for posting. And there's all your different frames. <laughs>